be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a favor. Go ahead and subscribe and also give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Today's video, we're going to be covering how to make fire melodies using nothing but the piano roll. So basically what we're going to be doing is selecting a sound um, that, that sparks our interest and then we'll be drawing in the notes in Logic Pro 10 to make a fire melody, all right? So let's go ahead and start off with a software instrument track. And what we'll do is we're gonna go ahead and use Alchemy, since I know for a fact everybody that uses Logic Pro 10 should have that sound bank. So we'll go ahead and software instrument, go down here where it says instrument and scroll down to Alchemy. And we're gonna push create. All right, this is Alchemy for everybody who is brand new to Logic Pro 10 has probably around 13,000 sounds, literally endless, endless, endless sounds. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and check out some of these sounds and see what we can come up with. Turn on uh, musical typing. That's a pretty dope sound. I, I always try to sometimes go with like sounds I already rated. I need to go through here and just pick out all the dopest sounds, but we're just gonna just scroll through and just randomly select one. Nah, we don't know, want no chords. All right, cool. We're just going to use this liquid echo bells. All right, cool. So once you find a dope sound, um, what you'll do is go over here to the scissors. All right, we're going to just do, let's say, let's do a four bar um, loop, and then I'll just put it on like 130 for the BPM. And what you want to do is keep in mind that you have your piano right here. Literally, if you put push any of the notes on there, you can audition everything. And for the black keys, you'll see will be the darker lines right here, and the white keys will be the lighter lines. Okay, so that's how you can know where everything's at. We'll start on C3, and we'll be we'll using um, like a minor uh, chord to make our melody. And so how you do that is you just sound out a minor chord, which is going to be the C. It's going to be this D sharp. It's going to be the G. All right, cool. So basically, you, you since you know your chord, you can come over here and just start, you know, drawing the notes in. So we'll push command. That's going to pull up this little, uh, you know, pencil. And we're just going to click in like this. And I'm just holding down option and, and scrolling left or right on my mouse, or you can do that on the trackpad. And this is a cool length of note to go with because you can just kind of come in here and really get, get going here. So what I'll do is just play around with the notes. And what you'll do is sound it out. And then you can say, all right, the next note I want to be like is go doom. And then you can find that note. Dun. All right, and then so you just keep on going. Do, 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 do. You click it and then move it up or down based on how you, how you hear it in your head. Do, 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 do. And then, you know, from there, you literally can come over here and just take that and just drag it over by holding that option as you drag it. And then, you know, you have a dope fire melody that you could use. Now, if you want to split, you know, make it make it sound even doper than that, you can just 
um, click right here in the grid, push Command A, highlight everything, and then you can hold down Option and take this whole melody. And then you can um, nudge it over and then maybe go an octave lower or higher. Let's just see how it sounds like now. It kind of sounds a little bit too busy. And so what I'll do instead is just move this whole, this whole pattern up an octave. And what you could do too is you can come over here to this automation right here and see where it says note velocity. You could take those notes that are highlighted and then turn them down. And so that you could still hear them, but it's not gonna be so prevalent. It'll be this, this pattern right here that'll be more prevalent. And then also come over here to Alchemy and you can play around with these different, you know, options here. So I can come over here to turn it to this grungy option. And you see how you have, see how you have too much delay. You can just go over here to the effects, turn that completely off. and keep playing around with these different, you know what I'm saying, options. And you can even go into each of these little plugins and just say, all right, maybe this has too much um, in the mix. Turn this down. Mess with some of these knobs. And then what you could do is after you go ahead and draw in your melody, and some of y'all who already been watching these videos, you already know, you can just take this melody right here and you're gonna drag it over here to the left of where this big gray bar is right here. And then go to Quick Sampler, push in Original, and then you can mute that and then go over here to Classic Mode and turn this bad boy on right here. And you can even, um, We'll push on uh, the musical typing up, Command K. And you can play it on different, you know, um, octaves and stuff. Cool thing about once you drag it into this uh, quick sampler is you can also affect the actual BPM. So turn that down to like maybe 90 BPM and now it sounds different. Now we got a hard um, loop that you could either use for your own beats or you could send out. So just for you know sake of doing the video here, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna create a, a dope little you know beat off of this. So what I'll do is um, I'll go ahead and uh, click the uh, record button.
double click on that we'll click off of that for now and then we're just going to quantize that and then same rules apply i can come over here again and add different effects and different things like that so um you know we can add like a little um, auto filter on it then come over here and add some like revert i'm not revert but equalize that so it kind of sounds you know different You can either come over here and download Isotope's vinyl plugin and put that on it. Maybe turn out some wear and tear and this dust. And you just got a warp vibe on it, so it's, it sounded like a little detuned. You got a whole vibe right here just after draw, drawing in the notes here and bringing that in. Now, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and just, you know, throw a couple of those things on here. Throw a clap, you know, kick drum, hi-hat, just to show you that, you know, it can sound, it can, you know, it can go dope. Go pretty dope right here just by doing that. Um, just throw a clap on top of that. As a matter of fact, we'll just draw it in. You're doing your claps, just put it on this uh, 0.3 of each measure. Turn that up. Little trick here once you click on any note within the grid, it's gonna, it's pretty much gonna copy the length of the note and the velocity. So if I click that and then, you know, push command and draw right here. Same length, same velocity. Come over here, add some uh, hats. Lately, I've been using the step sequencer to draw my hats. Sometimes it's, it ends up just being a whole lot easier. And then just draw, just bring this 16 steps all the way down to 64 steps to make it a little bit more detailed. And then you just come over here and bring in some 808s. And I, I don't tend to draw the 808s in as much. I actually like playing them. And I can just go up a measure. And now I know that that's my note. And just keeping it simple right there, you got a dope pattern, dope drum beat that, you know, an artist can flow over or you can even use for like a TV show or something like that. And you could, of course, speed this up if you even wanted to. Click 
cool thing is I can come over here and drag that on over here to another um, quick sampler track and now I got a whole nother vibe Anyway, y'all, that's today's video. How to make fire melodies, drawing them in, using the pencil tool in the piano row. Okay. Appreciate y'all watching. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them in the comments and I try to get back to them as soon as I can. Make sure you also go ahead and follow me on my Instagram. Um, uh, I got two Instagrams. One is um, I am Ukiah Beats and then also the other one is Beat Making Basics. So, Y'all, appreciate you. Let's get it.